Hi you all, it's good to see you all. I hope you had a good week. Well, today is a very special day. I've been getting a few things ready. Look, I've got my party hat. I've got that on. There's a party hat. I've got a balloon and I've got a few extra ones to blow up. And also, I've got some party poppers been getting these things ready so do you know what today is what special day it is today do you know that's right it's easter sunday it is but it's thinking about it just a couple of days ago remembering that jesus died on the cross weren't we but i don't know about you but on that friday on good friday I have lots of different feelings. I feel sad that Jesus died on the cross, but also I am thankful because Jesus died so that I can be friends with God forever and ever. And I'm so thankful to you, Jesus, that you've done that for us and for me. But Good Friday isn't the end of the story. Oh, no, it's not. So I've got a story that's called The Empty Tomb. Shall we have a listen to it? Are you ready? I'm going to read it to you. So hopefully you can see the pictures, is what I'm hoping. Joseph of Aramea was a follower of Jesus. He went to see Pontius Pilate to ask his permission to remove Jesus' body for the burial. Pilate agreed later that day with the help of Nicodemus, also a follower of Jesus, the two men began to prepare his body. They took care to prepare it according to strict Jewish custom. First, they washed it and carefully wrapped it in strips of fine linen, sprinkled with special spices. Next, they carried the body to a cave tomb and gently placed it on the rock's edge. A large stone was rolled across the front of the cave to seal the entrance. Mary Magdalene and some other women watched as the tomb was sealed. It was Friday evening when Jesus was finally placed in the tomb. The next day, the Jewish Sabbath and Jesus' enemies asked Pilate to have the tomb guarded. They remembered what Jesus had said about rising from the dead. On Sunday, Mary Magdalene went with some women to the tomb. When they arrived, they found that the stone ceiling at the entrance had been ro rolled back and the men guarding the tomb had gone. The women were worried and started to weep. Perhaps someone had opened the tomb and taken Jesus' body. They looked inside and saw, to their amazement, that an angel was sitting where Jesus' body had been. The grave clothes were laying on the rock ledge. Don't cry, said the angel. Jesus is not here. He is risen from the dead. Look, this is where his body was. Go and tell the disciples the good news. You will see him soon in Galilee, just as he had promised. Immediately, the woman ran to find the disciples to tell them what the angel had said. John and Peter ran to the tomb to see for themselves. As soon as they saw the grave clothes, they knew that the woman that the woman had told them what was true. They hurried away, leaving Mary Magdalene alone, weeping as she looked at the empty tomb. Then, then she heard a voice. Mary, why are you crying? Mary turned to see a man who she thought must be the gardener. I'm crying because Jesus' body had just gone. She said, if you have taken it, sir, please tell me where I can find it. Mary said, the stranger. 
Then Mary knew who the stranger was. It was Jesus. She was overjoyed. Tell my friends that I have risen from the dead. Jesus told her, tell them that you have seen me. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Jesus had risen from the dead. Now, how would have you felt if you'd heard that news? How would you have felt? Well, I expect Jesus' friends were probably a bit confused. But then they saw Jesus for themselves. It was true. Jesus was alive. And that's why I'm ready to party today. Now I've got my balloon, my poppers. Party today because Jesus has risen, risen from the dead 2,000 years ago. Changes everything. Jesus said in John 10.10 10, that he came to bring life and life to the full. Amazing. Easter Sunday reminds us that Jesus Jesus offers us is bigger. That Jesus' life offers us is bigger and stronger than any hurt or pain, than any fear, and even death itself. Jesus isn't dead. He is alive. And he's with us right now. Wherever we are. And whatever we're going through and whatever we're doing and what and given us his he's given us his life and he's given us his love and that is amazing jesus's love reaches everywhere so my question to you are you ready to party are you yes because i think we can party later we've got our poppers and our balloon and I've got the party hat so we can have a party so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pray if that's okay so let's pray dear Jesus we thank you that you are alive and that because of Easter Sunday we can know you inside and we can be friends with you forever and we thank you for that. And I just also ask that you be with us this week as we do our different things and ask for your blessings. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I've thought of a little craft that you could do. There you are. We've done the Easter egg with a cross in the middle because the Easter egg is the the stone of the tomb that was rolled away represents and also i've put on it jesus is alive because he is and that's amazing so we can go and party and look i'll put it now look we can have our parties here's some of the stuff and put my party hat on look we can have a party and underneath i'm going to put a link to a song which I thought you could all dance to and have a party. And it's, we want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across the land. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And you can click the link underneath. So it was good to see you. Bye-bye for now.